In this video, we are going to construct a preheat train model. So we are going to design on Aspen Heises until this point. Okay, so we will take the field. We have uh, discussed it before in our Abyss stream work that we have maybe crude gathering or gas gathering. So we have our feed now and we are going to heat it and we are going to have a desalting. This desalting remove water and the saltness and the impurities. Then we heat our feed and we pre-flash it. Then we heat it again in a fired heater. There will be a heat exchange and a fired heater and it is fed to our distillation cooler. So now the, our main focus uh, in this section of the upstream will be till we reach this point. Okay, so how will our simulation look like? It will be something like this one. Okay, so why we have a water here? In this case, for the BFD, we have a crude feed. But here we have a crude feed and water because here's this one, we are going to, divide, to define it as a petroleum essay without adding water. Then our crude during the production, it includes water uh, because we have enhanced the recovery. So the enhanced recovery, we in, sometimes we inject water. So there will be water with our root root. So this will be our actual crude, okay? After mixing with water. So we are going to heat it. So why are we heating it? Because the desalting need heat. Okay, so this need heat to happen. So before it, we heat it. We heat our feed so we are going to use this is a simple heater so we are going to add a heater after that we are going to add another heat exchanger in this case the heat exchanger will be heated from this this product okay let me show you because this will be a little bit tricky if you look here you have a bumper round okay so the bumper round products will be something like kerosene and this is, we have worked before in the bumper round in Aspen Heises but my point here is that we are going here to heat our crude using the heat from kerosene and the heat from this so if I'm going to add here in this section I am heating from a hot pump around something like the kerosene or the diesel I showed you before okay and again, it will be fit to, uh, to the desalter. So the desalted water will be separated. And again, we are going to heat and the pre-flash. And this is our furnace. This is this one. Okay. So we are going to simulate the furnace also and the transfer line. Okay. This unit is called a preheat train model. So let's jump to Aspen Heises and to construct it. Okay. So this is our Aspen Heises. Now we are going to create our new uh, case uh, for the preheat train we will heat and treat our raw crude oil stream for the processing in the atmospheric crude distillation so we will stop just above in, uh, uh, just before entering the atmospheric distillation but most of the time i start by adding component list or a float bucket but this time i'm going to add a petroleum assay okay so i have created a petroleum assay and i'm going to upload it so you can start from this point okay you are going to open USA and the import press import from file so at this point you are going to add the file I have uh, given to you so okay after import file you will have option Aspen tick and you are going to add after pressing add you will have options to add the previously saved um, assays so you are going to choose the ones I give you so now I have added it so I'll import in this time, I'm going to choose the component selection. It will be in a temperature till 850. Okay, this is a moderate temperature. Okay, so and press OK. You have a, this message, message mentions that you have selected SA and it's successfully added. So you are going to press OK. So now we have imported our file and we press OK after choosing the component uh, to a temperature 850 now we are going to enter our simulation environment now after ad adding that actually if you look here you will find your component list and also your flow package are well defined they uh, they use a component list uh, from the uh, assay that I added the components in and the flow package will be 
uh, Ben Gobins. Okay, so now we can enter our simulation and I have already uh, shown you how the simulation will be like so you can create it yourself or you can follow uh, now with me. So in this case, I'm going to add my first material stream, which would be my crude oil. So now this is our raw crude. And I'm given that the temperature is 15 degrees Celsius and the pressure is 1000 kilopascal and the mass flow rate is 6. Okay, so we are going to need to go to mass and 6 E5. Okay, kilogram uh, per hour. Okay, so now we have entered this information. We, ne we need now to define the components. Okay, so now we are going, we are not adding the composition from here. We are going to define from previously added assay. So now I'm going to define. I don't. I have the temperature. I have the pressure. I don't need to define it from here or the flow. Okay, no coloration or cost. I'm going to take only the composition from it. So I have added uh, this information from the petroleum assay. Okay, so Okay, I'm going to close here. You have a petroleum assay here and we are going to attach from existing we haven't mentioned this yet okay so we after adding this you are going to add from this essay so now we have added only the composition from the petroleum essay number one okay now we have the composition so this stream is solved now I'm going to create the water stream because I mentioned before this stream doesn't have water and it's actually uh, most of the time we have water in our um, S3. So this would be water and again it's at 15 degrees Celsius. And we are not given the pressure here but we are given the mass flow rate to be 2000 uh, to 21,600 uh, kilogram per hour. Okay, so it's unknown composition so just go to the composition and define the water to be 1. Okay, so this is your water and you add one here. So, okay. We have a mole fraction of water equal to one. So we don't have a pressure here, but we are going to add a mixer. So don't have any information about the water. But now we are going to add our mixer. We have done this before actually. So this is our mixer. So we are going to call it mixer. Uh, mixer and we know that we have two streams to mix the raw crude and water and our outlet will be our stream that is going to be heated so crude to heat or to be heated or to heater okay so it is not solved we have used this trick before if we don't have a pressure of one stream we equalize all so it will solve and equalize the pressures so now you will have the water pressure to be defined we have the pressure here to be 1000 kilopascal and the pressure here it's also 1000 kilopascal and after mixing we have this stream here after that we mentioned that we are going to a heater so it's time to now add our first heater so search for a heater this is i always recommend to search instead of looking for the slogan now this our first heater so we are going to call it heater one maybe okay and its inlet is the stream material stream crude to heater and the energy is heater one q and the outlet here we mentioned before that we are after the heater we are going to add another heat exchanger to make sure that we reach the temperature that we need to the desolder so here this stream is to to heat exchanger okay and we have a delta b happening into um, this heater equals to 50 kilopascal so this is the pressure drop here 50 kilopascal and um, we also know the information that the outlet the stream outlet here to heat exchanger will exit with a temperature 65 degrees Celsius. so we can open this one here and we enter an exit temperature of 65 degree Celsius. Okay, so our stream would be defined and also our heater is defined. Okay, now it's time to add our heat exchanger. Here, before adding the heat exchanger, 
we don't have something to exchange with. So if we add, okay, let me add the heat exchanger now. Heat exchanger. If I added the heat exchanger here and open it, you need an inlet for the tube side and the shell side. And here you don't have um, two stream. You have only one stream. So it can enter the tube or the shell. So here we, we need, as I mentioned before, to create a bump around the stream that will be entering to the shell and lowering, uh, increasing the temperature of the tube side. Okay. So you can add a material stream uh, created or you can create it from inside the heat exchanger. In this case, I'm going to create the material stream now and I'm going to rename it as hot pump around hot pump around okay or ba hot pump around and uh, this stream i'm sure about the composition because it's produced from the crude oil so it it will have the same composition as it okay so we are going to define it from another stream and this stream will be our raw crude okay this is our feed stream and it has the same composition so we are okay now so we have now the composition uh, of the bumper round stream so this is all we have now so we are okay and now we are going to add the hot bumper round other information here we are given that the temperature of the bumper round is 180 you also have a pressure of 200 kilopascal and standard ideal liquid flow standard ideal liquid flow is 175 meter cube per hour so it's now fully defined so we now have something to enter our shell site so now we have our hot pump around for the shell and for the tube side to heat exchanger okay after adding the heat exchanger inlets now we uh, we figure out the inlets but we need to add the outlet for the tube side outlet this feed will go directly to the, the desolter so to desolter and for the shell side we will have the cold pump around okay this is pump around will be okay so now you are asked about the unknown delta b so you go to parameters and now you need to change this one okay most of the time we use simple with it okay and we have discussed this before in previous uh, videos uh, different type of heat exchanger models for shell side we have a pressure drop of five uh, five uh, kilo pascal and for the pressure drop in the tube side it's 35 kilo pascal okay it's under specified so if we go to specs we will find out that we have a ua selected as active to be used to be used to define um, the um, the heat exchanger but we don't have information about it. so we are going to unselect it so we have now a degree of freedom equal to one so in our next video we are going to fully define our heat exchanger and continue to the desolder